Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 321. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 317 to 323. Hey, in this trick here, we have designated some sub text string, and we want to, for each cell here, look in both of these. And if both of them have the sub text string, then we want it to return true. So if we type EGE here, we would want a true here. If we t type the word rad here, in this cell we want it to turn, return true because it found a, s a sub string here within the string, rad, and a rad here. ABC, it would find that one there and that one there and return a true there. Now we're going to use the search function. Search will uh, look through a text string and find a substring and tell you the number position. And it's different than find. It's not case sensitive. So EGE would return number two here because it's the it starts at the second character. Here it would return whatever that is seven eight. Now find text. It, well, we're going to look for that F four F four to lock it going down comma and within what text? It's expecting this argument within text. It's expecting a single cell or uh, string. The fact that we're going to highlight both of them, the two cells to my left, we're giving it a range of cells, in essence an array of uh, uh, two cells here. As soon as we do that, in an argument that's expecting a single cell, we convert it to an array formula. Close parentheses, and let me just show you how this works. This is an array because we put that range in there, so I'm going to hold Control and Shift and tap enter. That puts the array in. You can see it gives us our curly brackets up here. But I'm going to double click uh, and highlight this and hit the F9 key to show you what it's doing. Why is it an array? It's returning two numbers. So in, in essence it's saying that one starts at the tenth position, this one starts at the two. Escape. Well our goal here is to find out if they both have it. Well right now that won't work. But notice there were two numbers there. So I'm going to hit F2. If we put is number around it, is number is a true false. If uh, the thing inside of its uh, value here is a number, it says true. If it's not, it says false. I'm going to put uh, close parentheses. Now, because there's two numbers here, when we control shift enter, is number will produce two trues, or a false and a true, or a true or two falses. Control shift enter. Uh, I have some conditional formatting there, but watch this. I'm going to highlight this and hit the F9 key just to show you that it is returning an array of trues and falses. Now let's just see what happens if we uh, double click and send this down. And I want to test it right now because it's not going to work. If I type the word fun here, it gives us uh, a true here when it's not supposed to. And the reason why is because this is an array returning two values. If I double uh, click here or F2 and hit F9, it says true false. When you enter an array like this, it just shows you the first one. So it's just showing me the first one. So really what we need to do is come up here and put AND, A-N-D around this. This AND will only return a true to the cell when both of these from this array, hit F9, you can see it's an array. Whoop. Anyway, when both of them, right there, the green one, F9. So only when both of these come out true will the AND deliver a true to the cell, controls a true to the cell. Control Z, Control Shift Enter, and then double click and send it down. And now we can see there's no result for the fun. But if I type in ABC, and this is not case sensitive, it returns uh, a true there because that's uh, true. A B, oh, it returns a bunch. There's a B there, a B there. Oh, and it got the B there and the B there. If I type in rad, it'll give me a true there. All right, we'll see you next trick.